Okay, so here's another update on these window farms. A couple of things have changed. Um, one is, well, unfortunately the growth of the plants in this room hasn't really changed. I did flip things around because things were bending towards the light, of course, and not elsewhere. So that strawberry is just kind of sitting there. The lettuce has decided to start hanging out off the side. Up here, the vinca has a lot more leaves, and we see a couple of marigolds that have decided to pop up. And then the basil, it's there. One thing you might notice, aside from the fact that I've now got the um, tubing running on the outside, is that I only have the little spigot thingy up at the top. They were starting to get pretty algae covered, or whatever that is. I do keep it up at the very top because that first burst of water dripping down um, tends to be kind of uncontrolled, so to keep splashing on the windows down, etc., etc., I still keep that one. Also, that helps keep the acoustics from the burbling of the uh, water uh, under control. But these next two levels, I just let it drip. There's two reasons. One is it's less unsightly, and two, is that it's actually, I think, helpful to have the water splatter more when we get to these two bottom levels. And the fish are happy. So now we're going to go to the next door room. Uh, you can see up there the fan that kind of helps things. And because I'm, I don't know, that way I'm not going to show you the floor of my children's room. Yeah, it's to protect their privacy, right. Anyway, so here's the second window farm. And uh, the fish are doing all happy and good. There's a lot of water evaporation on this guy. Um, uh, I thought putting a, that lid on it would help, but it's just the evaporation off of the water as it goes through the plants, mostly, apparently. So anyway, um, you can see here the algae growth in the tubes, but uh, this, compared to that other five gallon tank, this, uh, uh, whatever you call it, water, five gallon water bottle is, has much more head, if you will. The distance between where the air water is coming in and the top of the water is, is greater. So even though it's being happy and green, by the time it gets up to the top here, it's going pretty famous. So we've got some lettuce greens. Unfortunately, I've determined that I hate this kind of lettuce. It's really bitter. Next down is um, the uh, strawberry plants, and they're doing pretty well. You can see that drip going well. And down here at this level are the uh, tomato plants, and they had more leaves on them. I pinched them off under the thought that this would help focus the growth on the the things that might produce fruit at some point, but that may have been premature. It may be that this plant at this point just needs leaves to to get strength, but I don't know. This is all first time for me. Anyway, and that's that.